so quick question. Um, Ed, as you can probably imagine, we get a lot asked a lot of questions. Right. A lot of people walk in the door saying, hey, quick question for you. And usually when they lead with that, then there's this very, very long answer. There's a lot of follow-up questions. Right. It's not just one quick question. Oh, here's your answer. It's never a number. It's never true or false. It's always something that requires a little more digging. Um, so we like, to, we like to highlight different things on the show like that because we have more time to answer it. Um, but I want to get your take and I want to get Sean's take on this um, because I can guarantee that everyone in the room has been asked this question, not necessarily by a customer, but an aspiring drummer or, or a parent of an aspiring drummer. So here's the quick question. My kid or young relative of some kind is interested in drums and percussion. Where do I start? Right. And there's, <laughs> there's a lot of people that have, that have strong feelings about lessons versus this versus that. You know, I say you start here, you've come to the right place. And then I'll segue from there. But that would yeah. be that would be my quick answer, at least, is like come to the drum shop. You come to the drum shop, and I would say, well, what's he interested? Is in? interested in, in drum set playing? Is he interested in, in? It's just about asking questions, really. You know, is he interested in hand drum percussion? Is he listening to pop music? Is he inspiring to be in the school band, marching band? Did he see a movie that involved music or drumming in some right. way? Yeah. So it's just finding out where, uh, you know. The youngsters, or you know, it doesn't even have to be a kid; yeah. it could be anybody. The, the 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 student or the future drummer, uh, you know, what inspired them and where they see themselves going. I wanted to be a punk rock drummer, and you know, wanted to play in a rock and roll band. So that's what started it for me. Um, and, and we all have our, our different starts, and uh, just asking questions and figuring out, you know, where their, uh, you know, uh, passion is. Yeah, I'm on a similar kind of track. I'm like, well, do you see yourself playing with hands? Because I do a lot with hand drumming and yeah. the whole drum circle in West Africa. And it's the hand drums are really key. So, do you see yourself playing drums with your hands or with sticks? So that gives you a big. It's a good you know, question. We yeah. go in here. We go in here. Not, I mean, you can you, stick drummers can sure. whack their congas over here and their bongos or whatever or whatever they got, and uh, uh, you know, djembe players or conga players can also you know play stick drums, of course, but. So that's my first question: is which which one do you want to do? But I think you're on the right track. What got what got his attention? Is mm -hmm. it because he's that's is it. there a band he likes? Yeah. Uh, uh, did he see it in a movie? Because you did he see kinda, a drum circle? You kind of want to nurture that. You know, you don't want someone. You know, say a little. Uh, I'll just say a young kid comes in. He he saw, <clears throat> let's say he's into Green Day. He saw Green Day, and you don't you don't want to say, well, no, you don't want to start there. You have to start on the snare drum, like. That's you. You want to learn your fundamentals, but you also want to nurture that enthusiasm. So right. you, you know, you get there, but you, you know, you sometimes you do have to teach for the student as well. It's like that's what brought him to yeah. wanting to play. Let's let's nurture that. Let's go there. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's often true that if you're having fun, you're doing it right. So, you know, go with that. Yep. And then you can figure out, okay, this tradition or that style, and I want, yeah. I want, to, I want to make sure I want to really get that language together. Yeah. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's really important. I think as soon as – I love when parents come to us, even if we get talking to them. I, I've, I've learned – this is something I've learned over the years, especially if a parent comes in talking about a kid starting out. Before we get too far in the conversation, I ask them the age. Because you can get so deep in the conversation that we're like, yeah, let's pick this out and do this and do that. And then I say, oh, wait, how old are they? And they're like two. And Three. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, that's a very different conversation, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, like at a young age, it's very much more like just putting things in front of them, encourage, like really yeah. young, encouraging them to, you know, put music on and, and yeah. jam with them or whatever it Let, might be. Look, at here's here's a video. Look, he's playing, the, he's playing his uncle's drums and he's yeah. just... And he's, he's like... Look, passion. He's really good. You can really keep a beat. It's just like chaos. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would say yeah, just keep encouraging him to do that. Yep. But a little too young for private lessons. You right. Know? That's a different thing. A little, little too young and, for that. And the first impression, the first advice that you get or give is super important. Um, I know that on my personal, my personal drum journey, I was interested in drums and in playing drums in like the school band. Right. So I go to the go to the triad or whatever. They, yeah, yeah, you can play drums or trumpet. I said, yeah, I want drums. You know, I went to one lesson and quit. And <clears throat> and it's interesting because I didn't go to a private lesson. I went to a school lesson and over half the lesson, like most of the lesson, I should say this, I was playing on a little bell kit. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and learning the notes and doing it's that. Not... And I was like, in my mind, I wanted to play the drums and I was not playing the drums. Right. Right. And I dropped it. And I didn't pick it back up until like high school. So what's that, like third grade to, mm-hmm. to ninth or 10th grade? I, That's a to, big loss. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just, I wonder how, how long I would have stayed with it. And, you know, if it was just, yeah, here's the drum, here's, here's the snare drum practice pad or whatever, you know. Yeah. But, but I just think that that initial, um, how you foster that initial interest is very, very important. And for parents that are looking to do that, go to your local drum shop. Yeah. Because it's really easy for us to spot what they're interested in yeah. and what's going to help and what's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition, when, when we sign up students with private drum lessons, the bare minimum that you need is a practice pad and a pair of sticks. But if you want to play, if you're a you know, kid or whoever, or you want to play the drums and you're smacking just a slab of rubber, I mean, if, if that was me when I was a kid, I would, my motivation... Me too. No, I, to love play, I love playing on my practice pad now. Yeah, But same. as a kid, no, it's not going to work. It's I, tough. I, needed, I needed a drum to I hit. I needed the yeah. bass drum to hit. That's I started right away in the drum set playing yeah. immediately. You know, yeah. I didn't and, start and off I on think, a snare or practice pad. It was like I bought yeah. a drum set because I wanted to play drum set. Yep. And it's, it's a huge game of self-awareness. But when you have um, a kid or especially someone that's going to might not be comfortable talking about what they're really interested in in front of a teacher, in front of a uh, relative, or in front of the guy at the shop or whatever. Like, you just need to, okay, this this person is interested in the drums. They're close to me. I'm going to really find out why, what they're interested in doing, and mm-hmm. then go from there is a really important thing. Yep. Yeah. Asking questions, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then guiding them, you know, that way. Right. But there's there's no harm that can be done with just having drums around no oh. there's no you know just having them around and and i know a lot of parents that that want their kids to be musicians and that's where specifically like, don't push it but just have the instruments around right. and then yep that's what that's where you know having all the, the hand percussion and the shakers and the bells downstairs is so very important because it gets everyone involved you don't have to be a drum set player like right. to be a drummer or to be a percussionist it's the shakers it's it's getting everyone yep. playing and involved and you know and learning yeah yeah and it, it it really like you said you don't have to be a drummer to start and i know that sounds really counterintuitive or kind of like no duh because mm-hmm. you're starting you know but it's one of those things where the the barrier to entry as far as drums versus a lot of other as far as violins or whatever you know or right you know like learning the <clears throat> cello versus learning how to play a shaker to start out the barrier to entry is so low that you can, it's very easy with drums and percussion to find out if you have fun doing it. Yeah. And then you just, you know, then you go from there. Oh, yeah. Show <laughs> fun. Bell. Good point. Good po- that was the first good point. How long are we well, into this? That was the first hey, good point. Anyone not, I, I didn't say it was the first good point. It was just a good point. And oh, I don't want to overdo it. All right. I don't want to get Bell happy over here. Bell happy. <laughs> Got a little Bell happy. It should be a cowbell, actually. It yeah. should be, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll just I'll mount a cowbell over here, and there when you go. make a good point. Clunk, yeah. clunk, clunk, yeah. clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. That, this is a podcast, and we have bell. so many noisemakers, but we don't really involve any of it in the show. So no. that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, all right. So quick, before we hop into the, the uh, between the plies section here where we, we talk with Ed, um, I do want to plug, we have... Uh, a discord channel that we're st- trying to get launched uh, basically it's just like an online chat community where you can reach us give us ideas for the show ideas for segments different things like that so you don't have to rely on my creativity um, but um, also feel free to leave a comment you know it, the more we you interact with us the quicker the quicker we become a, a closer community we're not we're not here just trying to sell you stuff we're literally here to talk drums which is what we love and if you have any questions or anything don't hesitate to message us wherever you're seeing this or uh, or reach out. Uh, it's me, Sean, and Goody. Three of us. That's it. We run the shop. Real easy to get to. Real easy. We're here to help you guys. Um, but yeah, let's let's hop into uh, between the plies. <laughs> 